Mm, hey there, guys. I'm back with the uh, some more Pokemon fight now. Let's try a great ball. On Gisa my Y. I won. I two. I three. Ah, we got it. Yeah, I remember my wall having a pretty high catch rate, so anyway, here we go. My wild, the deceiver Pokemon. Attached to its head is a huge set of jaws formed by horns. It can chew through iron beams. Hmm. Ground type, huh? So we'll name you, uh, oh, perfect name for this. Check it out. We're going Gen 5 for this one. Sand Isle. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Let's uh, head out of here and uh, heal a little bit. Well, we'll try to head out. Try to head out and heal. And then, um... And then, uh... What ability do you have? Right, still in sun? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll try to head out and heal. And then, uh... Also, you know, check out the Pokemon we did catch. Like, what their abilities are. So... Ooh, yeah, yeah, you can't triple stamp double stamp. You can't poison a steel type, sucker. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. There we go. Alright. Yeah, and um, as I s said toward the end, you know, after the Orberg City tour and everything of uh, last episode. Uh, this episode, it's gonna be more, you know, catching a safari, or, you know, there are no guarantees. If we fail, we're gonna at least be seeing, like, what, what all's out there, so, you know. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I highly, highly doubt I'll do the gym leader battle in this episode. Uh, okay. No items. Okay, let's see which... Yeah, super luck is, uh, yeah. Heights is the critical hit ratio of moves. It's actually a pretty good ability. Um, unfortunately, that ability stuck on a mile while, so yeah, I don't know. And I guess we'll see if I can find a uh, Flareon appears to be the best Pokemon up here eh, so far, so uh, I guess we'll see, like I said uh, last episode, we'll see if I can find like a better ability than a uh, multi-type, so. What? Oh my god. Oh, what is it? What is it? Heatran. Wow. Heatran is here. What ability does it have, I wonder? Sh oh no. Shadow to. Oh no. Oh no. I can't switch out. Ooh. Sorry, JJ. You're going down, buddy. Oh my god. And he got the stat boost. Um. Yeah, it's a ghost type. It's a spooky Heatran. Ooh. Oh my god. Well, uh, do I have anything with ghost type moves? Glybat mm. has Astonish. Honestly, I just want the experience from this thing at this point. I doubt I can catch it, but uh, Supersonic? Right, it did get the stat boost too. This thing is beastly. Already. Hmm. It's got an ancient power at this low level, too. Seems like it'd be pretty good to catch if we can manage to do it. Alright. Uh, let's try Screech there, Glybat. I mean, you might not survive this, but... Oh. Okay. Yeah. Lower this thing's defense. Jeez. Astonish. Okay. Sorry, Glybat. Whew, this thing is poning us right now. Uh, why fry you up, buddy? Yeah, use that rough skin on him. Peck. Good damage, good damage. He's out of confusion. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah, this thing is nuts, man. This thing is nuts. Struggle. Oh, dude, the only move it has is ancient power. That's 
that's actually good to know. That's a lot of EXP, too. Hmm. So all it's got is ancient power. Hmm. Okay, good to know, good to know, yeah. That, that makes that thing uh, kind of easy to farm for EXP, if I'm being honest. Because all you got to do is run out of ancient powers, and then... Yeah. Yeah, it'll struggle itself out, so... Hmm, interesting. Like, I, I highly doubt we'd be able to catch that, but... uh, eh, Good to know what's up here, though. <laughs> like, that encounter rate... I remember it happening very early in the LP, but that actually scared me because we had been here for so long. I was just like, what in the world? Like, yeah. But, uh, all right, he's back. Heatran, yeah. I mean, I guess this thing does give good EXP. Oh, right, Shadow Tag. Oh, that's my mistake, guys. I shouldn't have done this twice. Well, then again, I kind of want to find the alternate Flareon. So. Kind of just have to deal with Shadow Tag, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. That's... Man. Pretty lucky to get the stat boost. Twice. Uh, I think we're just going to have to deal with Shadow Tag up here, honestly. But I don't mind hearing the le legendary encounter music. Back-to-back -back battles. But I'll probably just, as far as searching this grass, you know, now that we know this is here, Shadow, Shadow Tech Heatran, um, yeah, I'll probably be just stick to, like, the very, very, very close to the entrance of this grass. That way we can go back and forth and heal Paris, you know, so. Oh my god. This thing is beastly, man. That's gonna be it for Y Cry. Let's get a crit here. Nope. And it's struggling now, so yeah, take your rough skin damage. Oh dude, nothing got the EXP. Oh that is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Okay, well as long as I don't run into another heat train, yeah, okay. Hmm, Anarith. Interesting. Now, yeah, this thing is normally a fossil. Um, oh, we killed it. Okay. I was getting ready to say, like, yeah, normally you find fossils pretty late in the game, too. So, as far as the catch rate on Anorith, mm, I'm not sure we could get it with Pokeballs. Then again, we did get Flareon, though, and Flareon's like an evolved Pokemon, so... Mm, I don't know. Sorry, sorry about that, guys. I had a sneeze there. All right, let's head back up, though. Continue with the kitchen so far. So we know Anorith's here and Heatran. Those are the two we haven't caught so far. Uh, apparently, Corfish is also here. Corfish, fish, fish. Heat proof. Uh, interesting. Didn't we catch a Corfish earlier? Did it have heat proof? I wonder. All right, we resist bubble. Uh, well, you know what? We should have easy EXP here with JJ, so let's just kill him. Yeah. Yeah, I remember ours had uh, only bubble really early on. I guess I'll check to see if like the one we have has heat proof or not. Uh, cause he proves a, uh, it makes you, like, immune to fire moves, right? Or maybe it, like, reduces damage from fire moves. Alright, JJ. There you go. boy, JJ. Hmm, level six. Oh, stunt that and poison powder. Honestly, that is pretty useful considering um, you're the one we have out front to trace abilities and you know see what abilities they have. I mean, you can just put them to uh, uh, paralysis right away. That's actually pretty useful. I'm glad I got the level up. Mawile, okay. And this thing is ground type, so 
I guess it is pretty e easy EXP, so I think War Total's right here. I might have chosen the wrong spot. Oh, I, I did. Good. Yeah. Water Gun, easy EXP. Oh, right, I'm part psychic. <laughs> I mean, still. Nice. One hit. Okay. Let's see what else is here. I'm sure there's like one or two other Pokemon we just haven't seen here yet. Or fish, fish, fish. All right, JJ. Tangled feet. Oh, okay. So see, that's exactly what I was talking about. The last one had a heat proof. This one, tangled feet. Okay. So yeah, I think uh, the way the randomizer works is like every Pokemon has like you know, two abilities, two set abilities, and it's just, you know, it's kind of like, well, maybe three, well, two for sure, we know, but, uh, and then it's just kind of random, like, you know, it's, it's randomly generated, either they'll get one ability, or they'll get the other one, so, nice, I appreciate you, JJ, yeah, I wonder if the one we caught has, uh, yeah, heat proof is of those two. Heat proof is definitely the uh, the superior ability for sure. But I'll check once we get back to the Pokemon Center. Uh, yeah, because I'm definitely considering using Corfish. Uh, Crawdon is pretty good, honestly. So, all right, it's more levels for JJ, which I don't mind because. Especially now that it has the status-inducing moves. Could help us out here. Uh, it's like 12.33. Okay, we'll search here till about like 12.40. And then we'll move on and search somewhere else, so. Patasex. Alright, can you defeat your evolution? Hey, I didn't get Leech Life at level 1. That's not fair. All I got was Scratch, man. Maybe I should poison this thing. Yeah. Mm, go for it, JJ. Poison. Oh. Big, big, big mama trying to show me how it's done. And we missed. <laughs> JJ. Oh. <laughs> Nothing happened that turn. There we go. Okay. I guess I'll go back and heal after this, since I'm, I am paralysis sized <laughs> It's so funny that Paris is a dragon type, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> it goes from having, a, you know, times four weakness. Like, bug and grass is just, uh, like, overall, bug and grass is just so, so, so bad. <laughs> but to go from that to, uh, I guess we'll switch out just to make sure we live. But to go from that to just pure dragon is honestly pretty hilarious, so. <laughs> uh, that's what I like about randomizers, man. I mean, you never know. It's, aw. Oh, I'm gonna go back and heal anyway. I ain't too mad at you, Parasite. I ain't too mad. I mean, normally I would be pretty, pretty mad, but it's all good. We made sure we got the XP, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dragon is uh, very good though. Sorry, Wife Ray. I'll heal you soon, don't worry. Alright. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, where should I look for Pokemon next? I guess the. Uh, maybe the cave, like where we came in uh, to enter Orber. Yeah, I didn't really search, you know, too good in there either, so, uh, let's, yeah, what ability do you have, Psyfish? Mmm, Heatproof. Ah, okay, so I do have the good ability. Good, good. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, let's head back up north and, uh, yeah, let's see what we can find up there. Alright. 
Well, here we go. Heat train? Unless there's another related area up here. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there could be. I mean, gosh, you just never know. Airlock? What? Uh, I'm pretty sure the other one did not have airlock, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the other one had shadow tag, right? Oh, okay. Airlock, that is a pretty great ability for a legendary to get. Now, I will switch out here. Uh, well, Metal Crabmon might really wall this guy. You know why he runs out of ancient power? So let's just switch into our steel type. Man, wow, Airlock. Jeez. That's normally, uh, you know, Rayquaza's ability. Uh, I believe it prevents, uh, it actually prevents, like, it doesn't prevent you from using a weather move like Rayman's, but it'll prevent the effects of, nice, nice bubbles. Water's super effective, that's good to remember, so. Um, yeah, but it actually prevents, like, the boost from Rayman's, or, like, it does prevent abilities, like Swift Swim, but it will prevent, like, the extra damage, so. I wonder if that would affect Thunder, you know, having perfect accuracy in the rain. Hmm. I don't know. I think Airlock, uh, has different effects between generations, too, so. Alright, he's struggling. We got it. See ya, Heatran. Thanks for all the EXP, man. Yeah, 122 split. That is very good at this point of the game. Uh, should I go back and heal? Sure, why not? We'll go back and heal, and we'll come back. Flareon must be, you know, kind of rare. Uh, despite it being, like, one of the first Pokemon we ran into up here, because, uh... Yeah, I haven't seen another one in a while. So. Yeah. Kind of strange. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, what type was Flareon, anyway? Uh, Flareon is... Steel type. I remember Steel type. Yeah. Okay. I saw its name and I was like, click. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad, you know. I don't know what else we're going to find out here, but I might save like two Pokeballs just to see if we can find Flareon with uh, ability besides multi-type. Because that is not bad at all. Ooh, Toxic Rug. Hmm, okay. What ability do you have? Uh, still. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's just poison you. Or try to. Oh, oh, doesn't affect him. So he's either poison or steel type. Hmm, let's use scratch and then we'll uh, switch out. Because this will tell us if it resists, he's steel type. Well, if I could hit. I need to know if you're still type, buddy, before I decide to run or not. He is poison type. Okay. Well. Poison type, I'm not too afraid of. So let's switch to... Yeah, you can't lower my stats with, uh, Mudslap. I mean, I guess it is super effective, but, uh... Yeah, I do resist that, because I'm a steel wall, son. Hmm. Yeah, and this thing's fully evolved, so the EXP should be pretty good. I mean, I could have tried to catch it there. It was pretty low red, but yeah, this thing's fully evolved. Like, I honestly doubt we'd be able to catch it with Pokeballs. And like, normally, once you get to Krogum, normally you need like Safari Balls or Great Balls for that anyway, so... There's a Flareon. Okay, let's see what ability you have. Oh, we didn't see. What? Weird. Huh, well, we didn't see on the other one either. And that one was multi-type. Wait, so maybe... Hang on, let me run real quick here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, maybe Trace... Uh, maybe Trace just doesn't work on on uh, on multi-type for whatever reason. Let me uh, 
I'm actually very curious about this. Let me put up Wi-Fi, and then let's switch into Paris and see if Trace works. Assuming it's not a Flareon, that is. Uh, yeah, because I, I found that weird when we were first... Oh, Farfetch is here, okay. Yeah, I found that really weird how at first, like, uh... Mold Breaker. Oh, okay, okay. But, like, I found it weird how Trace didn't work. I, at first, I thought it would, Trace just worked different in this game. Let's see if Trace works here, though. Trace it's... Oh! Hmm. Okay. That is very interesting to know. So, if Trace just doesn't work for some reason... It's because they have, like, multi-type, or they have some ability that can't be copied. That's actually very interesting. Okay. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. So in that case, I can keep JJ, like, in the back burner, which is good. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't really mean to catch kill Farfetch there, but that's okay. Okay, so we know, like, Farfetch is up here. Still, we want to try to get Flareon. And, uh, Anorith. Anorith. Okay. Well, I think we've taken a pretty good look up here. So let's go... Let's go heal. And then let's check out, like, the, uh... The route to the, uh, to the west. Yeah, the cave to the west there. Hmm, good to know. But I probably will... Uh, before we take on the gym, at least, I probably will come back for Flareon. In fact, like, I might do it off screen, you know, uh, see if I can fly in, uh, Flareon with a different ability, and then just cut in at the start of the next episode, like, hey guys, we're here, and, you know, we're gonna catch it. Or just cut in with me having already caught it. Yeah. Because, uh, Steel-type seems pretty good. Steel-type that can use fire moves. Pretty good. Scorupy, huh? Okay. Alright. Hmm. gonna activate rough skin so that's good um i think thunder waves to the left so let's use thunder wave sweet there we go yeah we'll, we'll try a couple balls against this thing bite that will activate rough skin hmm okay looks like he can take one more so we'll leave uh wife ray in here all right let's go for the pokeball Scarupi is more of like a kind of late game Pokemon, so maybe we won't... Oh, that was pretty lucky. All right, here we go with the Dexter voice, guys. Let's do it. Scarupi, the scorpion Pokemon. As soon as the tail claws close, its needle tips secrete poison. It can survive a year without food. Man, that's a really long time. Okay. Let's give this thing a name. Uh... Well, it is just pure grass type, so let's name it, uh, 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 just so I remember, uh, plant groupie sounds good. <laughs> okay, well, there's another new Pokemon call. I guess we'll check its ability at the PC. All right, let's see what else we can find here. I know for sure this thing has a really high catch rate, so I don't want to catch this, but uh, uh, it should give some pretty good EXP. Oh yeah, and we're normal type. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, looky, looky, stomach looks like it has a Wi-Fi, a full Wi-Fi signal. Check that out. <laughs> Such a silly evolution, man. 165, that's pretty good EXP, honestly. Plus three and plus two is love to see it. 
All right. Well, I don't want Licky Licky, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Instead of Zubats in this cave, we get Licky Licky. Ooh, Dawn Fan. Mm -hmm. Interesting Pokemon. Oh, that's a KO for sure. Yeah. Well, nothing else. The thing is free HP, so 135. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So we know Dawn fans here, Licky Licky, another score rupee, and this was Plant, so we know we can use, uh, yeah, we can use Peck on it, get the EXP real quick, so, there we go. Oh, almost one hit. I was going to say, if he bites us there, then, uh, that'd been, uh, Oko. That's all good, though. Alright, see ya, score rupee. What else is here? What else? Another Dawn fan. Okay. We'll use Peck this time. And then we'll try to put it to sleep. See if we can get catch it. Okay, that's decent. That's decent. And he's gonna defend a little bit with Growl, so that's good. Speed boost? Dawn fan has speed. Oh man. <laughs> that's a pretty darn good ability, buddy. <laughs> Oh man, that is so funny. I honestly wouldn't mind like a Pokemon with any Pokemon with speed, speed boost has the potential to be very, very good. So, uh, ooh. okay. Um, yeah, let's see if we can put this thing to sleep. Speed boost, that is funny. Okay, Flobble Flob, you're up. As long as I get my yawn off, I'm good, buddy. Fence girl, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Speed is probably max now. Um, you know, we are here in a cave, and this is an evolved Pokemon. Oh, and how cool would it be to have Don Fan in a Dust Ball? Let's do it. Dust Ball. A one. A two. A three. Yes. Alright. Oh, man. Yeah, this might be a very good Pokemon. We'll check out its type, of course, but, uh. Ooh, Flying Poison. Don Fan, the armor Pokemon. It attacks by curling up and then rolling into its foe. It can blow apart a house in one hit. Hmm, interesting. Well, this is the same type as Crobat, so, uh... <laughs> uh, should I call it Batfan or Crowfan? Or, uh, Don Crow? Actually, let's name it Don Crow. That actually sounds pretty cool. It sounds like an evolution of Honch Crow. Oops, if I can spell. There we go. Hmm. Alright, let's head back and check out some of the Pokemon we got, like what their types are, ability. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Glybat? You might be getting sw swapped out for, uh, Don Crow there. Honestly. And yeah, Poison Flying does have, like, a lot of, uh, weaknesses. It's got a lot of benefits as well, though, because you, like, you remove, uh, Poison's, uh, weakness to ground. You completely eliminate it, because you're part flying type. Uh, let's check it out here. Mm, no items, okay. Let's check out Skorupi's ability. Tinted Lens. Oh, oh, that's interesting. And, of course, we know you got Speed Boost. And, uh, Jolly. That's not the best nature. Hmm, but honestly, and what moves do you have? Yeah. Honestly, speed boots itself uh, is pretty good, so, hmm, now I want to catch one that's a better nature with speed boost. Hmm, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to end things right here.
and I'll think about it like in between episodes. We may just roll with that one, uh, to be quite honest, though. Uh, I think Jolly cuts the physical attack, though, is the problem. Or maybe it cuts the special attack. You know what? I'll check between episodes, guys. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. And I'll see you guys all next time in Pokemon Platinum. All right. Uh, next time we'll probably also take on the gym. Well, no, we'll uh, head to the mine and get the gym leader to head to the gym for sure. Uh, will we take on the gym, though? Well, I don't quite know, but uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.